കാളിദാസൻ വർഗീസ്വത്തായിട്ട് സഹോദരനാണെന്ന് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് മിക്ക പേർക്കും അറിയാം ക്രിസ്തുവിന്റെ വയലിൽ വളരെ സൃഷ്ടാന്തിയോട് പ്രവർത്തിക്കുന്ന കർത്താവരിദാസൻ വർഗീസ്വത്തായി നമ്മളോട് കൂടെ ഇന്ന് രാത്രി ഉണ്ട് എന്ന് എനിക്ക് ഐഡിയയിൽ നിന്ന് മനസ്സിലാകുന്നതോ ഇന്ത്യയിൽ നിന്നൊന്നും അറിയത്തില്ല കർത്താവരിദാസനെ എന്തെങ്കിലും മാനിക്കട്ടെ വളരെ ശക്തമായ കർത്താവിന്റെ വചനം അറിയിച്ച് അതിന്റെ ആത്മീക സത്തകളെ അറിയിക്കുവാൻ ദൈവം പ്രത്യേകമായി ദുബൈയിലും ഇവിടെ കേരളയിൽ പാർക്കുമ്പോഴും ദൈവ പ്രവർത്തികൾ അങ്ങനെ ഒരു വീക്ഷണഗതി അങ്ങനെ ഒരു കൃപ ദൈവം കൊടുത്തു ബസ്സിൽ മുഖരിയാവിനും കൃപ കൊടുത്തതുപോലെ ഭവനത്തിൽ രണ്ട് പ്രിയപ്പെട്ടവർക്കും ഓരോ തരത്തിലുള്ള കൃപകളെ കർത്താവ് കൊടുത്തിട്ടുണ്ട് ദൈവത്തിന് സ്തോത്രം ദൈവരാജ്യത്തിന്റെ മഹത്തിന് വേണ്ടി ദൈവരെ ഉപയോഗിക്കട്ടെ കർത്താവിന്റെ കന്യവിടവിൽ ഉണ്ടാകട്ടെ നമുക്ക് ദൈവത്തോടെ പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കാം എല്ലാ പ്രിയപ്പെട്ടവർക്കും ഒരു പ്രാവശ്യം കൂടെ യേശു ക്രിസ്തുവിന്റെ നാമത്തിലുള്ള സ്നേഹവന്ദനം വീണ്ടും നിങ്ങളോടൊപ്പം അല്പസമയം ദൈവിക കൂട്ടായ്മയിൽ ചെലവഴിക്കുവാൻ കർത്താവ് തന്നതുകൂടി ഞാൻ ദൈവത്തെ സ്തുതിയും ഐ ഓൾസോ താങ്ക് യു ഫോർ ദ ചേർച്ച് ഫോർ ഹാവിങ് മീ ടുഡേ ആൻഡ് ഫോർ ദിസ് ഈവനിങ്സ് മെഡിറ്റേഷൻ ക്വിക്ലി ഐ ജസ്റ്റ് ടു റീഡ് ഫ്രം ഫിസ് കിങ്സ് ചാപ്റ്റർ ട്വൽവ് ഒന്ന് രാജാക്കന്മാരുടെ പുസ്തകം പന്ത്രണ്ടാം അധ്യായത്തിന്റെ അവസാനത്തെ ചില വാക്യഭാഗങ്ങൾ First Kings chapter 12 verse 31 through the last part It says he also made houses on the high places and appointed priests from among all the people who were not the levites Jeroboam appointed a festival on the 15th day of the 8th month like the festival that was in Judah and he offered sacrifices on the altar So he did in Bethel sacrificing to the calves that he made. Just want to read verse 32 once again for you. Jeroboam appointed a festival on the 15th day of the 8th month like the festival that was in Judah and he offered sacrifices on the altar. Now Uh, for those who know the history it is easy uh, it is to do with the the history of uh, israel for sure and first kings chapter 11 chapter 12 and chapter 13 everybody must read to understand historically what happened to israel israel de charitra thod valare bendapettu kadakkuna chella chella adhyayangal aanadu aithu vaichu manasilaagum nalladha and especially chapter 11 10 11 12 talks about what happened to the united kingdom of israel after the death of solomon solomon and maranathine shesham israel endu sambhavichu ennallathu appo 12th adhyayathil 13th adhyayathil okku nammal vaichu manasilakkunu we know the united kingdom kingdom of israel was divided after the death of solomon and what happened is we know when the kingdom was divided the southern part that is two tribes have gone in with the, the david's family david's house that is david david's bavanavum aayittu tribeum aayittu allatha patthu gotrangal the remaining 10 had gone and they are known as the northern kingdom so when it was divided and it was also a prophetical fulfillment i know uh, you know about it so i'm not going too much into the historical things so what happened the northern kingdom the first king was the son of the servant of solomon and his name was jeroboam we you know him and he was in exile during the time of uh, uh, exile in egypt during the time of uh, king solomon and after the death of king solomon he came back to jerusalem and again he revolted against uh, the tribe of uh, juda or family of david and then he went uh, to we know that he moved to the north so i have uh, again as usual i have uh, created some slides to share with you so it might help and i don't know if this is uh, making sense to you because we are all used to uh, 
typical prasangam. So I don't have that. So only thing is I wish that we understood what uh, I wanted to say. So if you see here, uh, this is the land of Israel. What you see here in the red border is the northern part of the kingdom of Israel. And what you see here in the yellow border is the southern part of the kingdom of Israel. So this part, not Israel, this was known as Judah. And this part is the northern kingdom, which had 10 tribes. So what happened is these 10 tribes were known as northern part, the northern kingdom, or they were known as Israel. And then Judah, where Jerusalem was in Judah, and they were separate. The northern part was ruled, the first king was Jeroboam, and Solomon's son was the first, the, the, while Jeroboam was the first king in Israel, on the northern kingdom, Solomon's son was the king in the southern kingdom. So let us know that much. So what happened is, Jeroboam, has a, he was a very tricky, wicked uh, person. He had a, if we know, if you read chapter 12, verse 25 onwards, because of the time limitation, I'm not going to read. They, we see that he said, if the people of Israel, the 12 tribes, if they keep traveling all the way to Jerusalem down here into the territory of Judah, he feared that the hearts of the people of Israel will be bonded with the David's uh, household or maybe the family of David and he might lose control. So the whole reason that the children of Israel on the, the 10 tribes, they need to go to the south towards Jerusalem was because the temple was there and they had to go there and worship the Lord. So he said, instead of letting the people travel all day, all the way there, said, let us create something very local so that they don't have to go to Jerusalem. And we read from verse 25 all the way down to verse 33. And I, I please urge and encourage everybody to please read that part. Then only what I'm saying you will understand. Is he, the Bible says that he created two golden calves and one, the Bible says, he set in a place called Dan and the other one in Bethel. Remember the place is one is Dan, the other one is Bethel. Now look at this map. Dan is this red mark, which is the northern border, extreme north at the border of, uh, after the border is Lebanon. Then the next one was Bethel. You know where Bethel was? Bethel is way down south at the border with Judah. Uh, Judah. Yes, this is Bethel. Between Jerusalem and Bethel, there is only 10 kilometers distance. Now he made two golden calves and he sent them across to these places and he created high places, Puja Agriyal Undaki. I would have predicted you. And if I, if I can just go to my slide here, if you see some of the things that he has done, oh, what happened? I'm sorry. I, I, can you see my second slide? All right. So some of the things that he has done is he made two calves of gold, according to First Kings chapter 12, verse 28. One he set in Bethel, another one was in Dan. And then he made high places. And then the Bible says that he appointed non-Levites as priests. And actually it says that he brought in people from all over 
without even screening them or qualifying them, they simply made priests, anybody. And the worst is he created, he ordained a feast in the eighth month on the 15th day of the month which he devised of his own heart. You need to underline verse 33. He says that this feast on the eighth month, on the 15th day of the month, was devised by himself in his own heart so that he can stop people traveling to Jerusalem and worship the Lord. All right. Now, when we talk about the festivals, you need to understand something which I quickly will read. I mean, I have, I can, this is one of my very, very favorite subjects that is the festivals of Israel. I think I mentioned it yesterday also. Israel was given seven festivals by the Lord. And these festivals were uh, ordained, designed, and instituted by God for the children of Israel to celebrate over a period of one year on a prescribed in the prescribed months, in the prescribed days, in the prescribed form. And everything was God instructed. It was very clear. And if you are a, a Bible student, please read Leviticus chapter 23. We see all the seven festivals God instituted there. Then you have to go back and forth in many places, then only you will see it. Now, if you see this, my slide, the first month of Israel, uh, Israel that is the month of Nizan. Otherwise, it is called Abi. Abi Bumasam Patan Diedi Ningaluru Kunyad Nid Kanam. The lamb was separated around the tenth. You have to read Exodus chapter 12 uh, to understand that. Now, on the tenth, they, 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 they select a lamb, and the fourteenth, they have to sacrifice the lamb, and that, and that is called the Passover. Alengil Pesaha Pirunal. The second the second festival is the very next day. That is the unleavened bread. 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 The 14th is Passover. 15th is uh, the unleavened bread. And the very next day is the first fruit. So within three days, they have three festivals. And then they have to count seven Sabbaths, that is 49 days. At the, on the 50th day, they have the festival of Pentecost, that is on the third month. From the third month <clears throat> or after the Pentecost, it is a long time to the summer period and then goes to the summer. So fourth month, fifth month, and sixth month, there is no festival. On the other hand, on the seventh month, they have all the remaining three festivals. They have the festival of trumpets that I mentioned yesterday, I referred it yesterday. And then they have, uh, that is on the first of the month, on the 10th of the same month, they have the day of atonement, the festival of the day of atonement. Then finally, on the 15th to the 22nd of the same month, they have the festival of tabernacle. Either all these things is God's plan and God's design, and he instituted it for the children of Israel to celebrate. And each had its meaning and purposes. Amazing study. Like I said, if you can go through this, you can finish the Bible cover to cover easily. Now, if you look at this Old Testament festivals of Israel, starting with the Passover, which represents or symbolic to the crucifixion of Christ, and through which we have the salvation, unleavened bread, which talks about cleansing of any leaven, any presence of leaven in the household of the Israelites, which is the day that Christ was on the tomb, which was total separation from the rest. 
and find and coming to the third the third festival was the first fruit which is the third day christ resurrection and bible says in first corinthians chapter 10 verse 1 onwards the bible says that when the israelites crossed the red sea it was symbolic to the baptism so we three we see exactly the mirror image of whatever we are learning in the we are whatever we are following as doctrine in the new testament is found in the festivals of israel now from there we see on the third month we have the pentecost then trumpet yesterday we were talking a little bit about the trumpet we are waiting for this so basically up to this part up to the pentecost it is a fulfilled a uh, festival season for everybody however on the seventh month we are waiting for the trumpet after the trumpet it is the day of atonement and finally it is the day of tabernacle where we read in the book of uh, uh, the book of revelation that uh, john says like this here the devat manusharodu kuda devathinte kudaram adayada is the tabernacle of god is with man a deviga bhavanathil paarkunnathu vare adayade rakshikapettu verpettu snanapettu abhishekam praavichu kartavinte varavengil edukapettu devathodu kudayai avasanam swarga bhavanathil irikkunnathu vareyulla kaaryangalude design idinagathum അങ്ങനെയുള്ള ഒരു വലിയ മാർമികമായിട്ടുള്ള കാര്യമാണ് ഈ ഫെസ്റ്റിവൽസിലൂടെ ദൈവം ആ ഇസ്രായേൽ ആരാധന വിഷയമായിട്ട് കൊടുത്തു ഇറ്റ്സ് എൻ അമേസിംഗ് തിങ് വിത്ത് ദിസ് ദ ഫെസ്റ്റിവൽസ് എൻഡ് ആൻഡ് വൺ മോർ തിങ് ദ ബൈബിൾ സെയ്സ് ദർ വർ ത്രീ ഫെസ്റ്റിവൽസ് ദറ്റ് ദ ഇസ്രായേൽ that everyone was supposed to mand by mandatory right nirbandhamayittu israel ku kayella purushan markam kayennor kayennor ellavarkum poi sambandhikkenda moonu perunaalukal undu and the first one is the unleavened bread the second one is the pentecost and the third one is the tabernacle ee moonu perunaalukal nirbandhamayittu oro israelinum പങ്കെടുക്കണം എന്ന് നിർബന്ധമായിരുന്നു നൗ ദ വേ ദ ഗോഡ് ഹാസ് ഡിസൈൻഡ് ദീസ് 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 ഫെസ്റ്റിവൽസ് യു വിൽ സി ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് സോ ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റിംഗ് ഇഫ് സംബഡി ഈസ് കമ്മിങ് ഫോർ അൺലവൻ ബ്രെഡ് ഹി ഡസൻ കം ഇൻ ദ മോർണിംഗ് ആൻഡ് ലീവ് ഇൻ ദ ഈവനിങ് ആൻഡ് ദേ ഓൾ ആർ കമ്മിങ് ടു ജെറൂഷലം സോ വാട്ട് ഹാപ്പൻസ് ഇസ് അവർ വരുന്നവർ ഈ മൂന്ന് അതായത് പാസ് ഓവറും അൺലവൻ ബ്രെഡും ഫസ്റ്റ് ഫ്രൂട്ടും ഇത് മൂന്നും പാർട്ടിസിപ്പേറ്റ് ചെയ്തിട്ടേ അവർ പോകത്തുള്ളൂ so they are participating participating in all the three festivals here then pentecost is mandatory apparently they will also come for that so they will they will participate in uh, they will celebrate the pentecost festival also then finally those who are coming for the tabernacle it is in the seventh month they will participate in all the three part, uh, three three festivals because all of them are within one month so this is where we see in the day of pentecost jews from all over the world that we read in the book of uh, uh, acts of the apostles that's the time that the disciples were assembled in a place avar oru sthalathu koodi irunnu nammal vaayikkun markos inde maaliga ennokka prasangikkunna yan kettittundu the bible doesn't say it is markos inde maaliga it is one place oru sthalathu ne parannittullu ennal ee pentecost divasam the day when they came together all the israelites from all over the world when they came to see our celebrate pentecost day we see the holy spirit descending i wish we had a lot of time to learn this thing there are parallels whatever we are saying in the old testament here there is mirror parallels absolutely clear things exactly the same thing in the new testament and and it is it is so beautiful to understand so what i'm saying is from passover to tabernacle god had outlined his purpose of redemption of the children of god or maybe mankind manushya vargathinte rachcha yesu christuvinte maranam mudal adayathu karthava yesu christuvinte varavinu shesham nammal nithyadeyil avanodoppam vaaluna samayam varulla karyangal god has designed and beyond that there is nothing much we can do 
And that is the time. Here is a selfish king. He says, all right, you all are going all the way to Jerusalem to worship your God and celebrate these festivals. Don't go. We will do one thing. We will create something within our territory, which will look the same, sound the same. We will have one festival extra beyond and more than what the children of Israel down south. I mean, the, in Judah, in Jerusalem, the people celebrate. And he said, not only that, we will open up the ministry to everybody. Anybody who can come and do things, come up, do it. It is open, not necessarily to be a Levite, not have to be ordained, not have to be anointed, not have to be dedicated, nothing, come, perform. Ministry has become pretty much a performance. And over and above, here we have a festival that they can celebrate one more time. And that too on the eighth month. I wish we have to we really find time to understand what is the eighth month. And worse than that, he is sitting, he is sitting two golden calves, one in Dan and the other one in Bethel. Like I said, Bethel is less than 10 kilometers from the border of Jerusalem. Now we see this thing even today, unfortunately. We see it, I have to say this. Sometimes it, hurt, it really hurts to see, that's why we have to say this. It is sad that people simply detach, a few of them simply detach. Pretty much within the backyard, they start another little small copy. They will start one day only for people not to go to Jerusalem and to be blessed. That is all the purpose. Our Kavendi on the Virginia, Sendri in the Orapuru in Murukum, other than North or no South or no South West or no Kaperit, we will invent enough reasons to approve such little, little mushrooming groups, which is nothing but break away from the hands of God's anointed people. Such a sad thing. Yendur Sangadera Mayakari. Now, here this man says, don't go to these people. And let me let me let me just have to let me just come to a couple of things more. What happened to if you see? Oh, I don't know whether you're seeing this. Oh, one second. Oh, I don't think you're seeing it. Um, I'm doing something wrong here. It is not happening. I'm sorry about so. The, the children of Israel is now forbidden by their own ruler from the northern side in worshiping God the way that God wanted them to worship him or the order that God has given them. Now, a special two golden calves were created. It is another sad thing. Golden calves, it is, it looks like it is a family business for them. They created two altar. Remember, for creating the same golden calves only at the foot of the Mount Horeb or Sinai, that 3,000 people were killed by the Levites, if you remember, on the same reason. And right now, the same gods have come back into the camp by, brought in by Jeroboam. What happened to, how did it come right now? Because Jeroboam was living in Egypt till recently. He just came in and Egypt had that culture. It is with them. And the, even today, if you go to Egypt, you will see so many carvings, so many engraved images of these golden calves everywhere. If you go to India, you take, you buy a sari, probably on the sari, you get all kinds of gods and those images imprinted. Likewise, they have the God of 
the bull or the calves that is Epis and Nevis. It is, it is, it is the bull god of Egypt that is picked up and simply seen as the god. And what Jeroboam told exactly the same word Aaron told to the children of Israel. Here is your God who brought you from Egypt. They were forced to worship the image of these golden calves. What, what a situation. They were not allowed to go and worship God in Jerusalem. And, and, and more than that, more than that, they, they have two set of uh, altars. One is created in Dan in the north, the other one in Bethel. So from the north to south, the whole set of people were blocked from traveling to Jerusalem to worship God. And in all those places, they made high places. High places in English, altars. They created altars. And, and then he also appointed non-Levites as priests. They have no priestly call. There is no anointing. There is nothing. Only ordinary people. It is simply creating a people-friendly reformated church system. Actually, these are some of the things that is happening in the Western churches or in many places only to please the crowd. Do something, be in the ministry, do something, do something. Let us do this. Let us create a car here. Don't go here. Go, don't do that. Just to create a right, namada pala salatum, or nalla oru or meeting in Narakumbo. Uruba say the younger generation may not understand what I'm saying. Uru or nalla meeting in Narakumbo. Ango to Jenampo, again, at least I know in Canada, I have I've seen some of those situations. Beautiful meetings were organized in places like up north. Avada Chelan or Avada or Otta local church. They are not there. Why are they not there? Our Pali Muasa Pratan for Capitri, that means sometimes this kind of Jeroboams can stop the blessings that God has meant for the people or God's plan in their life. Let me just read one more verse and close uh, what I just wanted to say today. If you go to the book of Colossians, the book of Colossians, we read from chapter 2, verse 18. So let me read from my, my Malayalam Bible. Colossians chapter 2, verse 18 onwards. Yes. Adhukundu pachana paanengal sammandhi icho perunal vav Sabbath in the Kaditalo, Adam Ningle Vitiker, Adata Vakim Sadia, Iva, Waduan Idin Nava Yuda Nedalatre, Waduan Ulaven, the Lady Rigin of the Waduan Idin Nava Yuda Nedalatre, Waduan Idin Nava Yuda Nedalatre. If you go back to my slide again on the festivals, all those festivals were. Everything was the shadow of things to come, which had already come, and we are in that. And we are living in that. Then he says, Then he says, 
വെറുതെ ചീർക്കുകയും തലയെ മുറുകെ പിടിക്കാതിരിക്കുകയും ചെയ്യുന്നവൻ ആരും നിങ്ങളുടെ വിരുത് തെറ്റിക്കരുത് ലുക്ക് അറ്റ് ദിസ് ഹിയർ എ മാൻ ഹു സിംപ്ലി ഡിപ്രൈവ്ഡ് ദ ഹോൾ ടെൻ ട്രൈബ്സ് ഓഫ് ഇസ്രയൽ ദ റിലേഷൻഷിപ്പ് വിത്ത് ഗോഡ് ആൻഡ് ദർ ഓൺ ബ്രദറൻ തെറ്റിച്ചു കളഞ്ഞു വിരുത് തെറ്റിച്ചു കളഞ്ഞു ഇൻ മൈ ബൈബിൾ ഇൻ ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് ബൈബിൾ ഇസ് ഡു നോട്ട് ലെറ്റ് എനി വൺ ഡിസ്ക്വാളിഫൈ യു ഇൻസിസ്റ്റിംഗ് ഓൺ self abasement self abasement that means you consider yourself useless self abasement in one bible it says self humiliation self humiliation that means by killing somebody's self esteem by killing somebody's self confidence some killing somebody's courage killing something some built in you know abilities in the people it's all been killed by the doctrine of false pride and false humiliation adu padipichu padipichu ulla manushare they made it so useless then instead of that they came up with a new doctrine what did they say worship the angels and they were dwelling in visions they say i had a vision ellavar now jeroboam also claimed that he had this vision to have a separate worship place and altars and golden calves everything the bible says that he had counsel adayatha thande manasil somayathaya thoniya aa velippadu vacha avan adu cheyidathu the paul says that here dwelling in dwelling on visions puffed up with outcast sorry puffed up with outcast by a human way of thinking ver manushigamaya jadigamaya chindagalil ninnu uyarnu varuna pala thalpariyangalkum oru aathmiyathinte chatta tharippichittu അത് ദൈവീക ആലോചനയാന്ന് പറഞ്ഞ് മനുഷ്യനെ പിന്നെ ശാപത് ശപ ശപത്തുകളുടെയും വാവിന്റെയും ഒക്കെ കാര്യം പറഞ്ഞ് ചതിക്കുന്ന വളരെ കഷ്ടപ്പാടുള്ള ഒരു ആത്മീയ ലോകത്തിൽ നാം നിൽക്കുമ്പോൾ ദൈവ കൽപ്പനയായിട്ടുള്ള ദൈവീക പ്രമാണങ്ങൾ ഏതാണെന്ന് മനസ്സിലാക്കുവാൻ അതിൽ അടിസ്ഥാനപ്പെട്ടവരായി നിൽക്കുവാൻ ദൈവം ഈ ദിവസങ്ങൾ നമുക്ക് വിവേകവും ശക്തിയും തരട്ടെ എന്ന് ഞാൻ പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുന്നു ദർ ആർ സോ മെനി പ്ലേസസ് വെയർ പീപ്പിൾ ലൈക്ക് ജെറോബോം വുഡ് ബി ക്രിയേറ്റിംഗ് അമേസിംഗ് പ്ലേസസ് ദറ്റ് മൈറ്റ് ലുക്ക് ബെറ്റർ സൗണ്ട് ബെറ്റർ അപ്പിയർ ബെറ്റർ it could be very attractive could be very vibrant anganeyulla men pleasing aitulla aaradhana sthalangal sthabikkuvan sonda manasaakshil choodu vechavarayittulla anegar namukku chuttupaadumulla pol deiva pramaanam endavaanennu bhangiyaayi manasilaakkugey adinu vendi nilanilkuvanulla deiva krupayum പരിജ്ഞാനവും ദൈവം നമുക്ക് തരട്ടെ എന്ന് ഞാൻ പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുന്നു കാലങ്ങൾ കഴിഞ്ഞു എന്ത് സംഭവിച്ചു എന്ന് അറിയാമോ അതുകൂടെ പറഞ്ഞു ഞാൻ പെട്ടെന്ന് നിർത്തട്ടെ ഈ പത്ത് ട്രൈബ്സ് ദ ടെൻ ട്രൈബ്സ് റൈറ്റ് ഫ്യൂ ഇയേഴ്സ് ഡൗൺ ദ ലൈൻ ദേ വെർ ടേക്കൻ ആസ് ക്യാപ്റ്റീവ്സ് ബൈ ദി അസീറിയൻ കിങ്സ് അസീറിയ എന്ന് വന്നിട്ട് രാജാക്കന്മാർ അവരെ ക്യാപ്റ്റീവ്സ് ആയിട്ട് കൊണ്ടുപോയി then they came back reassembled a little bit then the babylonian captivity came up and even after that historically they consider that these 10 tribes were lost totally lost even today they are working hard to find them whereas the people the southern kingdom which was just judah and benjamin together what happened to them they had also had their share of problems their share of challenges wars destructions everything kept lots of problems in their life also however they still had a remnant in the land god kept them and god is rebuilding them so 
what I am saying today. Let us see what the words say when it comes to festivity, worship, dedication, all these things. Devate aradhikinad, Devi ke pramana, nila nilpa. Ido ke yenda ananolada. Vajana anto parayino yenda manslaku anolla ur pratyega kruva namak teivan terumara gatte. And before I close, let me also say this. Many times, our understanding of the word, when the mansla, they were in number of the mansla, he did not the palapolum. Palatolu Varchal on the Kate Gavi and the Marailolum. Pala over and over and over again, we have been hearing things, but we don't really check if it is like that. What was the, what was the best quality of the Bereans? Over the Thessalonians. Our Berove Lulover, Bakulavare Kaloka, Valare, Sreshtan Marar no Karanum, our Uri Prasang and Ketan initiation. The Bible says that they they go and check the scriptures that it was say it was so or not. scripture So likewise, I wish that every time that we hear a message. We go home and at least check it for five minutes. Read those verses. Now today, I am encouraging you. Please read First Kings chapter twelve, and read what Jeroboam done. He has he has totally messed up the country, and it is it is it all started by creating a fake form of artificial worship which had no presence of God, nor the support of the scripture. It was an idea simply came in his mind in order that people will be under his control and they will not go down to Jerusalem and their minds and their heart will not get united nor bonded by the king down south. Don't we see this thing every day? almost in every time. And how do we get that freedom out? Only by we ourselves, each individual understand the word of God and be rooted in that. I'm just leaving with you this thought and thank you once again. God bless you all. Thank you. Mm -hmm.